I'm RJ Aguiar, and this is Rebel Report, the show that's just like SourceFed, except more substance, and we're actually funny. From the hair to the suit, do you not have any value or respect for originality? Okay, listen, bitch. You look like Snooki auditioning for a remake of Cleopatra, so don't come for me talking about originality. So it's pretty safe to say that we talk about race a lot on this show. Bonafide racist, race relations, racist, racist, racism. Hey, if it stops being a problem, then maybe we'll stop talking about it. But even we recognize that there is a time and a place for everything. And this is a perfect example of the wrong time. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Hi, can I just get a double espresso, please? Sure, would you like to have a conversation about racism as part of our hashtag race together campaign? No. By now, I'm sure that you've all heard about Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz's shortly lived Race Together campaign and the predictable backlash. Wow, who'd have thought? People aren't in the mood to have an in-depth conversation about race relations before having their morning caffeine pick me up. Shocking. Yeah, you think this coffee is bitter? You should try being a person of color in America. And how many baristas have you encountered that would actually be able to carry that conversation? I'm obviously not knocking baristas. I'm a huge fan of their work. And then make up like a third of my generation. But they're not all road scholars. I've had baristas misspell my name more than once. It's two letters long. And even if you manage to find the one barista with a degree in cultural studies and anthropology, they're too brain dead after having to deal with these people. I'll have a grande cafe latte. Um... Por favor. Lady, I speak English. But as difficult as things can be for me, they're even worse for people like April. Not sure what Starbucks was thinking. I don't have time to explain 400 years of oppression to you and still make my train. Hashtag race together. Could not have said it better myself. But as much fun as it is to mock race together, you gotta at least admit that their heart was in the right place. After all, Starbucks has successfully championed good causes in the past, like education, raising the minimum wage, and marriage equality. But the problem this time around is how hilariously out of touch the actual concept is. And that's probably because the guy who introduced it, CEO Howard Schultz, has never had to actually earn a living as a barista. Starbucks swears that race together with a response to concerns brought up by their actual employees. Now, I'm I'm sure that Starbucks employees are concerned about racism, but I sincerely doubt that the actual concept came from them. No food and beverage service employee in their right mind would think, you know what would really fill up that empty tip jar? An in-depth conversation on race relations. So if Schultz wants to solve the world's problems over a cup of coffee, then he can march his happy ass into the next Starbucks, which I'm sure is not that far, and do it himself. So come on, Schultz, let's talk. In the meantime, your employees have actual work to do. So that does it for us this week. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Flama, and share this video so that people will think that you're smart. Join the convo in the comments, or on Twitter using the hashtag Rebel Reports. We will see you guys next time. Till then, I'm RJ Aguiar, and I approve this message. <laughs>